swinging back. It's joining me us, uh, joining us now, Victor Davis Hanson, senior fellow at the Hoover Institute, author of *The Dying Citizen: How Progressive Elites, Tribalism, and Globalization Are Destroying the Idea of America*. Victor, welcome to the show. Uh, it's my great oversight for some. You haven't been on our show, and I apologize for that. Um, so it's good to see you. I'm, I was reading uh, this thing you wrote. Do we even know we are all socialists now? This is something that Kevin Hassett mentioned on the show. I think it was yesterday, Victor. It's there's no merit left in Biden world. There's no merit left in his socialism. It's all about you know equality at the starting line, equality at the finish line. There's no college boards. There's no grades. There's no law school curriculum as you're writing in this. It's there's no merit left in America. And you know I scratch my head and say, how did it come to this? Yeah, well, it's a, it's the second wave. I mean, when we had great society programs and redistribution, there was pressure from the bottom up. You know, people wanted more Medicaid, or students wanted more student loans, or people wanted more food stamps. But this, Larry, is more comprehensive and systematic. It's top down. Mm. The people who want to change the regulations with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. These are high-level bureaucrats that want to punish people who have good credit ratings and reward those were, that don't. Here in California, the, the people who want to add money to your uh, cost, I should say, to your power bill are the bureaucrats high up in PG&E in Southern California Edison who want to appease the legislature. So this is more comprehensive. It's more Jacobin. It's the transformation of the entire society rather than one group saying, well, I'll play by the rules, but give me some stuff. This is, there are no more rules. We're going to punish the people who succeed and reward those who fail. It's also predicated on another, uh, I think an important qualification. When I say top down, these people all believe they're subject, they're not subject to the ide uh, consequences of their own ideology. They're pretty affluent people and they feel they've done pretty well and they can afford to change the rules a little bit once they've made it into the attic and pull up the ladder behind them because they don't think they're going to be hurt by any of these changes. And yeah. I think that's the story of socialism, whether it's the Castro brothers or Chavez or the Noriegas or the Jacobins or the Bolsheviks. They're pretty much upper middle class people who feel that they're going to, you know, experiment on the masses, but they're going to be exempt. And I think these, the Bidens are no exception. So Joe Biden can talk about the unfairness of the tax system, pay, pay your fair share, but we know that he's got some tax problems himself, and that, that's pretty typical. The nomenclature get rich. They're the only ones. Everybody else is in poverty. Yeah. And the nomenclature can be as corrupt as they want, Victor, right? Because they don't have to abide by yeah, the laws. But, they can change the laws or politicize the laws. So that's really the story. I mean, one of the insights you've made... This, uh, this is cultural stuff, it's political stuff, but it's part and parcel of socialism. It's part and parcel of socialism. It is. It is. And I, I think also it's, there's a psychological element. I think it's almost like medieval penance or, you know, that people who are very wealthy kind of have a, a, a guilt about how well they've done. And so they virtue signal and they come up with these ideas that make them feel good, but at somebody else's expense. Sort of like the medieval church, where you, you know, if you wanted to be a money lender or a sinner, you you subsidize a block on the dome of St. Peter's Cathedral, and then you got into heaven. So I think that a lot of these people on the bi coastal elite, they go for this radical, almost BLM Antifa extreme, with the expectation that they're not gonna, if they have to pay more or touch it, it won't hurt them. But they feel so good about it that they're not greedy or they're not selfish because they uh, passed this redistribution and this radical transformation in American society at somebody else's expense. Mm. And the final thing is they think there's a lot of ruin in the United States because mm. they assume that they can keep doing this and the work of prior generations was so, so efficient and so dynamic that there's still going to yeah. be a lot of money that they can go through before the whole system collapses. Yeah, the, 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 right. Um... What is it? The geese that lay the golden eggs, but they just keep, they think they're all legs. Yeah. They're going to lay those golden eggs automatically or, you know, something like that. Anyway, Victor Davis Hanson, thank you. And we hope to have you back very soon. Thank